I'm Barlow. Hi, I'm Helen. Hi, I'm Andy. Hi, I'm Rebecca. Hi, I'm Mong. And this is our experiment that's going to prove the vis viva equation. Yeah, and then we have the equip equipment here, like the flower, and the two marbles, and the uh, measure tape, and yeah. <laughs> and we're going to be dropping a ball into cl into uh, flower at different heights. We are going to double the height of the first time we drop the ball, and we are expecting that the second time the the ball will travel four times as far into the flower. This has a historical context. Newton thought that uh, momentum was conserved in the equation uh, E uh, equals mv. Leibniz disagreed and thought that there was a wis viva or living force to matter and uh, argued that instead the equation was E equals mv squared. One of Newton's followers, Wilhelm Skrafsen, tried to make an experiment with gray clay and balls uh, dropping them from distant heights. This was later taken up by Émilie du Châtelet, who argued for Leibniz. Okay, first of all, we'll drop the ball at the height of 10 inches. Secondly, we will drop the ball at a height of 20 inches. So now we are going to do the diameter of the first 10 inches hole. It's 1.75. We're going to do the measurement of the uh, diameter of the 20 inches hole. And it is 1.8. So now we've got all the data, and if we uh, if we calculate the ratio of uh, the depth of of the two experiments, we can get 1.5. And um, we did this because we uh, looked into the primary source. Um, but it seems pretty imprecise, so we looked into the secondary source, um, we calculated the volume of the two experiments and we get uh, a ratio of 1.25 which is even more imprecise but well that's our experiment. This experiment was very trying for us. At first we tried to um, do it through Gravesound's method which was using clay. He, of course, built a wooden apparatus in which the clay was housed. But however, we found that the clay was too hard and that the, the balls, when they dropped, did not make an indentation. So we tried it with pure flour this time. However, we did not get better results. We tried it for 10 trials, and we did the best we could, but, but we did not see really much of a difference. However, this experiment would have proved in Duchatelet's time that the Wieswiebe equation was preferable over Just, just put 
whatever it would be zero point eight eight if it were one point seven five. But that's that that one is one point seven four, so it's probably the same measurement. I don't know if they did it this way in real life. I don't like. I don't know if this is. This might be like a hoax, or they did it from like different heights, or you know, like just. They made an apparatus, or you know, I mean, you see, and the, 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 they did this whole thing, you know. I don't know. Um.